Hello. Uh, my name is Kazal Madavi. I am an instructor in a, a, a Sager Educational Group. In this video, I would go through the simulation of uh, particles deposition inside the tube using console multiphysics. Uh, please do not forget for uh, do not forget uh, to subscribe our channel and also if you wanted to contact us for further training and for your simulations uh, you can uh, you can contact us using uh, our email address our WhatsApp number and are uh, you our Instagram account. Okay, so for the case of uh, simulation of uh, uh, simulation of asphalt in particles deposition inside the tube. As you know, if you wanted to simulate uh, asphalt in particles deposition inside the tube, the first thing that we need to part investigate is considering the fluid flow inside the system. So we would have kind of uh, Navier-Stokes Navier equations. It's, it depends on type of flow that you have. It can be either uh, laminar flow or it can be either uh, turbulent flow. So you, you need a momentum equation to solve. Uh, therefore, you can uh, reach uh, to velocity profile. And uh, also then using that velocity profile, you would be able to calculate drag forces that you are exerting. Or actually, it's better to say fluid is exerting on the surface of particles. Uh, the difference between this type of simulation with other type of simulation is that when you are going to use console multiphysics for particles deposition, you need to consider interparticle forces. It means that particles have interaction with each other and also particle ha particles have interaction with wall. So in the case of you, in the case that you wanted to simulate and use this type of simulation for your model, you need to consider all uh, potential forces that uh, are affecting your particles in your system or in your well mostly petroleum engineers uh, in the case that they wanted to consider like transportation of uh, uh, i don't know hydro uh, hydrocarbon materials that they, they contain con uh, commonly a lot of solid particles uh, as a form of sus suspension uh, su suspension so you would be you should take care of this uh, issue and then you can use this simulation for this activity. Uh, for example, if you wanted to use, uh, so the first thing is drawing the geometry. The geometry that we designed uh, just is just a tube uh, with these dimensions. Uh, it's a tube uh, with a radius of, uh, uh, for a radius of uh, widths of uh, 20. That is the diameter, and uh, uh, sorry, width of uh, twenty. That is the length of the tube, and height of uh, three. That is the uh, diameter of the tube. So we define this tube, and then we go through the the turbulent flow. Using turbulent flow, you can uh, define an inlet velocity for your model. That we define it as a parametric model. That is here three meter per second and you have outlet. So if you assume that your particles are releasing inside the, uh, I don't know, atmosphere, you can consider this pressure uh, equal to zero. So using uh, boundary condition, con conditions uh, for the inlet and outlet, and also boundary conditions at walls, you can uh, go further for particle tracing modeling. But uh, before going to that part, I would, explain uh, about uh, explain some details about walls uh, we have like uh, no slip boundary condition for the fluid on the surface of the uh, on, of the wall it means that the velocity of the fluid is nearly close to the velocity of wall so since the wall is uh, there is no movement of of, of uh, walls in this model or in this system your fluid velocity exactly on the contact point would be zero but we have roughness so we, we selected the, this model roughness for considering the roughness of the uh, walls you it's a kind of uh, since in real models uh, we don't have exactly uh, 
like the zero roughness in in uh, in tubes so we need to sometimes uh, consider the roughness especially when this roughness affects uh, the particles uh, particles distribution and also the particles interaction with walls so in the case that you ignore this roughness you are intentionally or unintentionally decreasing the interaction of particles with wall and then you are losing uh, losing like particles that they are going to be attached potentially on walls. So using this equation, Navier-Stokes equation, that as you know, you can see the models and equations that uh, were used in this model uh, for your fluid model uh, simulation. For the case of particle tracing for fluid flow, it is a module that we used for uh, for uh, simulation of uh, particles or asphalting particles inside the inside the tube uh, you have like similar boundary conditions but with different meanings so the first thing is that we have walls uh, for so we have like mass deposition uh, and uh, for the case of uh, walls as you can uh, see here the wall condition here is uh, a stick and uh, the pr uh, the primary particle conditions uh, is like for example the case of the gamma is uh, like uh, 10 that we defined it as 10 and uh, here is the mass deposition uh, model uh, deposition on uh, on walls and here is the secondary uh, emissions that we consider for uh, for the particles so we have particles uh, properties. Uh, we have different particles with different like uh, particle size and density. In this case, if we wanted to define particles with different dimensions, we need to differ, define different particle properties. So we define different particle properties that in this case, the particle uh, sizes uh, are different so you can see that uh, we change the, and multiply that with a constant number for changing the particle and uh, you we have like uh, inlet as you see and this the particle that they are uh, inletting uh, entering uh, to to the tube and uh, it's here you can define the number of particles for release for example 100 or whatever it depends on your model and things that you are going to model uh, you have drag force here you consider drag force since uh, uh, the drag force is the, is the result of uh, fluid flow interaction with particles so you need couple this uh, model or this module uh, you by using uh, momentum equation that we talked about uh, here so it's a gravity force that we consider for the model so we have uh, drag force gravity force and the brownian force uh, uh, for the particles that they are moving inside the tube uh, you can apply extra forces based on the model that you have this this force uh, can be uh, like uh, like extra forces due to uh, a specific type of model that you are using that it's considered uh, uh, typically the uh, surface properties of your model or whatever so it's this software uh, makes you able to just consider extra equations that they are uh, there are important for your uh, model for example if your particles are moving here and uh, your particles uh, surface properties uh, results in attachment of particles you can consider extra force in this part and you have outlet and you can like consider particle uh, uh, counter in the case that you wanted to use its results in the simulation so after it's a particle particle interaction that you can uh, consider different types of models uh, for particle particle interaction after simulation you would reach uh, the velocity profile of fluid inside the tube 
uh, as you can see, and also can, uh, see the particles trajectory. So if I just uh, as you can see, particles that they are presenting inside the tube, they are going to be aggregated. It's a result of uh, like interparticle forces that we have. So interparticle forces results in agglomeration of particles uh, that uh, in this example, these particles are asphalting particles. So it causes uh, agglomerates formation. Uh, you can see and you can uh, extract other uh, independent uh, variables dependent variables uh, using simulation that should be. Uh, also this example can be used for a lot of other types of uh, models and uh, the type of simulations related to particles interaction and particles movement inside their different systems uh, please do not forget to subscribe our channel and again if you wanted to contact us you can reach uh, reach us using this uh, contact information. Uh -huh.